as you know, only one daring program brings you ongoing, up-to-the-second coverage of supercharged heroes battling crime and natural disasters. The only rescue entertainment show that ranks vigilantes by points and at the end of the season crowns the undisputed king of heroes. You're watching Hero TV Live. Hey everyone, this is Julian. Welcome to SoFab. Today I'm doing another manga review, this time the manga adaptation of Tiger and Bunny. And joining me is none other than your girl, Rascal Entertainment. Hello. <laughs> Gotta do it for Tiger and Bunny. <laughs> yes. So this time around, the anime came before the manga, which came first to Chicken or the Egg. Right. And the story retells the first half of season one. And let's just say that it takes lots of liberties with this one. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click notification when these updates on Soul Fab Reviews, Netflix, and other TV shows and manga. Yes, and thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And thank you for allowing me to share things that bring me joy. Yes. And I hope they bring you joy too. So with this one, we assumed, hey, the manga, let's see how close it is one to one is like Full Metal Alchemist or MHA. Let's see how close Tiger and Bunny manga is to the anime. Well, it's not. No. It, it isn't at no. all. It isn't at all. They decided to give Barnaby the focus and tell the story from his perspective rather than doing it from the perspective of both characters as it's done in the anime. Right. And it's called, still called Tiger and Bunny, but the way this version is written now is just Bunny. Mm -hmm. And all the other characters get more spotlight. Like when they do the episodes that are centered around a certain character like Blue Rose or uh, Dragon Kid or Fire Emblem or something, they kind of stay on them the whole time, and Tiger is the background character. He's sort of just really been toned down to supporting role, and everyone else is the star. And what's weird is all of his lines, all of his part in helping to solve what happened with the Royal Boris and Bunny's family, or his mom and dad, all this stuff's given to Barnaby, and suddenly Tiger is an idiot. <laughs> It's like, why are you doing this to our man? Why are you doing this? Why would you do this to him? Oh my Suddenly, God. Bunny has figured out everything. Bunny he, is the detective. Bunny acts like he's the one who's the uh, hero with the most experience. And it's yeah. like, what, what were these people thinking about when they did this manga? Yeah. And then especially to get to a point where it, it's, it's one part that I kind of really had a problem with is that there's like at the beginning, like the first few episodes of season one, they established what's going on with all birds that are behind who took out uh, Barnaby's parents and so on. And there's a point where they have an episode where a couple people from all birds are hunting down a few of the heroes or witnesses. And they start going after Tiger because he remembers what one of the people looked like that fixed the elevator and was one of their members. So he remembers what he looks like. So Ouroboros has been hunting him down or sending one of their guys to take him out. And this happens a lot throughout the series where Barbie is the one, has been the one looking for Ouroboros for most of his life ever since what happened to his parents. But then um, he never really caught on to anything because of Maverick if you've seen the anime. And he just doesn't seem to get anywhere with it. Tiger somehow figured out a lot of everything that happened and he tries to tell Barnaby and help him and he gets so close so fast that Ouroboros decides they need to take out Tiger and they constantly try to kill him throughout the show well all that is scrapped in here everyone is after Barnaby everyone goes to Barnaby Ouroboros wants to kill Barnaby Barnaby is now America's most wanted and the biggest threat to the organization when they really could care less <laughs> A little clarification for you in case you might be a little confused. There was um, several mangas, one manga called the comic, and then they did uh, another manga, the beginning, and then Punny Tiger and Bunny 2, the comic which came out after uh, the season 2 that premiered in 2022. Mm -hmm. The original screenplay was written by Masafumi Nishida, but this manga that we're discussing was written by Sunrise. And Not it doesn't tell you who actually did the writing. Yeah. So it was as you said it was an original manga. 
This came out in September of 2011, ran through December of 2014 with nine volumes. And it, it's just so different from the anime. You knew someone different wrote it, but Sunrise, it's like a ghost writer, or mm -hmm. someone who's a writer for hire, wrote this mm -hmm. and put their own ideas in it. But maybe they knew it was so uninteresting and going to be so against type, they didn't want to tell who they were. But maybe. And another thing is that maybe, and this is the theory, maybe this is what Summers wanted the Tiger and Bunny made to be. Maybe they wanted Barnaby to be the star and not Kotetsu, and then, then when they didn't happen in the anime, they decided to try it out in the manga form. Since they established it's going to be different, they thought, hey, what could it hurt? What could you lose with it? Well, everything. Yeah, <laughs> you I could see. lose sales. You could just have not purchase the book. Now, only some, uh, very few people will be fine with this because some are okay with it being completely different than what they watch oh, and they just want to see it. Very true. But they're not going to be the sales like they would have with the anime where it was just a phenomenon in Japan and still considered the best anime out of the country. So, unfortunately, the manga's not going to get that status. I don't, I wouldn't say that it's different original because it's the same story. But Bunny's in Tiger Spot, and yeah. Tiger has been rele relegated to background. Right. If they had done something like Pokemon or others do, where they make a different story from the anime, mm -hmm. you would have been okay with it. Like, oh, okay, we're going to see something different from the anime. What did they do? No, they just took Bunny and put him in Tiger's place. That's it, yeah. And because of that, it makes the anime superior to the manga. We read the whole thing, we read all nine volumes, we kept thinking maybe it was going to change, but it didn't. Yeah. It was not a satisfying read. Unfortunately. And no. Unfortunately. And really, we wanted it to be because, of course, we love Tiger and Bunny. But the artwork itself, I would have to say, is really good. The person who did the uh, drawings... Mm, Sakaki Bara Masuki. Had to think about it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's true to the anime. It looks really good. It yeah. almost looks like the person one to one who right illustrated the anime did it, but they didn't. It's really, really, really done well. Yeah. So that's the best thing I can say about the manga that the drawings are exceptional. Right. And then you have like when they get to near the end of the what they tell for the story. They never get into the second half of the season with Maverick or Tiger being framed or any of that. They kind of stop after Jake's defeat. Now here's the thing with Jake's story. He's just Magneto now. In this version, he is Magneto. He really didn't give a crap about anybody that wasn't a next or that wouldn't work for him. Mm -hmm. He thought he was the best there was and if you didn't follow him, well he could just take you out in a snap. And he was a Joker, and he had a Harley. That was it. Here, he's more like Magneto. He had he thought he had more of a righteous cause. He was trying to band all the necks together to wipe out the non-necks in the city. He could read minds, like Tiger uh, Blyden <laughs> said he could. They give you his backstory where he was abused as a soldier, as a teen. So they tried to give you, make you empathize with him and why he felt like he wanted to wipe out humans, but. None of it worked. It was just so weird to see this guy go from deranged lunatic joker to suddenly an organized man like Magneto and wanting to create a new world order with an all next world. Right. That was so just like a complete overhaul that you might have been reading some other manga that was inspired by Tiger and Bunny because everything plays out differently in here. Mm -hmm. Granted, you were surprised by everything, but, oh, it's, but it wasn't but like... But not in a good way. Yeah, that's it. It wasn't in a good way. Because it takes it and switches the characters' personalities and their place versus the anime, mm -hmm. it really made it not as interesting a read. Now, we haven't read the second manga based on season two, so they may not have done this, and it may actually be something really interesting and fantastic. Right. So once we get a chance to read the manga based on season two... We will review that and let you know what we think. Right. But if you have read the Tiger and Bunny manga from 2011, let us know what you think in the comments. Well, 2011 through 2014. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you love it, were you disappointed kind of like we were? We really want to know. If you haven't, I'm going to say I don't recommend that you read it. And I really say this. 
I say watch the anime season one. You'll absolutely love it if you haven't seen it. And stick with that because it's more exciting. It's got some great voice actors we love. Uh, Wally Wingard and Yuri Lowenthal. And you can't go wrong with season one of the anime. Right. Oh, and if you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, and close the case with it on upcoming reviews, videos, hacks, and more. Absolutely, because there are more coming every Thursday. Thank you, Rascal, yes. for joining me once again. And you're going to get a little break because the next one up is probably going to be Attack on Titan or No Regrets, Levi right. Ackerman's no story. No <laughs> <laughs> Which you've watched the anime, but you haven't read either the manga or the one-shot manga I for Levi, I... or all of ALT you've read, That's like right, a couple, yeah. but not the whole thing or the omnibus. Right. So, if you're an ALT fan, or a Levi Ackerman fan, like I, I should say we are. Yes. So, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to visit Rascal's channel. Awesome videos and content. So, I'm Julie. And I'm Rascal. Have a good day. Have a fantastic day, and right? Continue to stay happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time. Later.